Well, as marijuana becomes legal in many states, we are beginning to learn more about its benefits and what some say are potential risks. Tonight, medical reporter Liz Bonas shares, shares research raising questions about a possible cancer connection. Hey guys, hello to you. A study just released on marijuana has many medical providers suggesting we should now screen for use when it comes to a health history, just like we do with tobacco use, and here's why. A review article on marijuana use in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology says not only is some marijuana becoming more potent, but smoking marijuana appears to carry many of the same cardiovascular health risks as smoking tobacco. Dr. Mohan Brar is an interventional cardiologist at St. Elizabeth Healthcare. The impacts could be alterations in, uh, uh, you know, blood, uh, blood pressure and heart rate. Uh, it can, uh, you know, contrary to the normal uh, belief that it helps relax people, uh, it may actually increase your heart rate. It may actually increase the blood pressure and, uh, and that may put more stress on the heart. Uh, it does have far-reaching effect uh, than just uh, uh, being a recreational uh, drug. To explore those far-reaching effects further, researchers in JAMA Network Open recently wanted to find out if there's a connection to marijuana and cancer. After analyzing more than two dozen studies, they concluded there was not enough evidence in these studies to link marijuana to many of the common cancers. These included lung cancers, head and neck cancer, or oral cancer. But what may surprise you is what they did find a possible link to smoking marijuana and testicular cancer. There was slightly higher risk of testicular cancer in patients who were marijuana smokers for more than 10 years. Dr. Abhinav Sadana cares for patients with urologic cancers at the University of Cincinnati. He says it's important to note, however, It's an association, which means they coexist. It, it doesn't mean marijuana exposure causes testicular cancer. Well, there are a few known things that do appear to raise testicular cancer risk. As far as causes, there are some things that we know are direct causes of testicular cancer. The most co common thing would be un unindescended testicles. Dr. Noah Allen of St. Elizabeth Healthcare says it's too soon to say marijuana use is one of them. So when you see a meta-analysis like this one and you're looking at all the cancers and the only one that sort of sees a bit of a bump in association is testicular cancer, you think what? So it's hard to say one way or another if, if testicular cancer is affected um, by marijuana. Uh, based on that meta-analysis, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it one way or another. I think there's just not enough data. While further studies are needed to get that data, this meta-analysis looked at the cancer association in those who had what would be the equivalent of just one joint per day for one year to reach these conclusions. Guys?